right? Shalom. Shalom. This is Brothers here from uh, GMS Atlanta Church. Before we get started, we're going to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rechak Badash. Double irons to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead teaching real well. Love and irons to you, our fellow I can push the word in faith, truth, sincerity across the four corners. Shout out to the sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the man dice the Great Millstone. Like I said, uh, Cobra Buzz from uh, GMS Atlanta Church. We're getting to um, a Living Waters uh, lesson, going into embracing the new you. You know, because, uh, you know, in the world, you know, we understand that, you know, us formerly being in the world, that there was an old man, you know, and the, one of the beautiful things about this truth is that we're called to be a new man, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is shaping and fashioning us um, through his spirit, through the Holy Scriptures and the, uh, the, the words, you know, into a, a new creation, all right? But with that, you have to embrace that new creation, man. Don't run, don't run, run from the new you and the new man, all right, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is asking and demanding that you that you become, embrace it, you know? You want to get, you want to go ahead and start with what you got? This is, uh, this is, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if any man be in Hamashiach, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Continue. Behold, all things are become new. Yeah, and this, in this verse it says, if any man be in Hamashiach, or Yahawashah, he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, and getting, I want to go into, um, interlinear in the blue letter and get that word creature okay and the word there is um ketsis okay it says um the act of founding establishing or building all right so any man that this actually comes to and is in yahweh shah is being founded and established and built in a whole new manner man in a whole new spirit in a whole new stead a whole new purpose all right a whole new mindset and a whole new everything Okay, and I'm going to go into that a little bit more. But that's why it says he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Because everything that you're doing is now new. Because you're attacking it in a, a different, a different, a whole other spirit. You're attacking the world and your life and, every, and everything that comes with that through the wisdom and knowledge of the Holy Bible. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? You can sing with you. got something much more. Yeah, I wanted to... Uh... Yeah, I wanted to make a point because when you look in that word, uh, G2937, that word creature, uh, once again, it says the act of founding, establishing, and building. And we're, through the spirit and power of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, establishing the house of David. Mm -hmm. So you, you got to you gotta become new. You got to put off that old man that you were in the, in the world, you know, the, uh, the filthy man that you were, and, and come, come into this, into this knowledge, this knowledge. Um, like like it says in uh, John six and sixty three, mm -hmm. all right. This spirit is gonna is gonna cleanse you, mm -hmm. all right. When you get into these words, they're gonna purge out purge out your old ways in the world and and, re and renew your mind. You know. Mm -hmm. If I can get this word really quick before we continue, I want to get the, uh, the the etymology of the word embrace. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the etymology from etym online of the word embrace. The verb it says clasp in the arms. You know. Mm -hmm. So as far as embracing the new creature that you become, you gotta actually clasp yourself, your spirit within yourself in your own arms, man. Mm -hmm. you, gotta em you gotta embrace that spirit that's being renewed and reestablished and rebuilt by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You gotta cherish, you gotta cherish the spirit that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has put in your vessel, man. Okay. If you cherish your spirit the way that if you have the, a, a level of understanding of the value of the spirit that's put within your body, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna take care of your body. You're gonna, you're gonna work to, um, uh, Keep your spirit and your mind pure, you know, because you don't you don't want to uh, uh, you don't want to put impurities in a, a, a valuable vessel, you know, and, we, and that's going to embracing that, embracing that new creation, man. Because the new creation you are, you, we, we always had a certain level of, of an inherent value, being Israelites and Lord willing, being the, the, of the, uh, the hopeful elect, okay. But the the, the the new creature is even valuable than the old spirit, man, because now we're actually pleasing and we're useful for your how about you how about this is uh, Colossians chapter uh, 3, verse 10. And I put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right. So we we're supposed to put on that new man, you know, um, after the after the uh, knowledge, after the image of him that created him through the spirit and power of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. We got to be we got to be made new. We got to be the ones 
the uh, Lord willing, that, that's going to fulfill that prophecy in um, Revelation uh, fourteen and three. The ones who sung the new song, man. Mm -hmm. we want to be we want to be those who sing the new song. And before we do that, we got to uh, purge ourselves of these old ways that we have, these old these old trends that we get from uh, the world. You know, our parents. You know, going to high school for a certain amount of years. We got to purge ourselves of everything that we learn and uh, renew our mind daily. This isn't something where you, you read a couple of scriptures and you say a few prayers and then that's it. This is this is a constant battle, a constant washing of yourself through the word. You got, that's why you got to keep going into the word. Um, you got to take rebuke. All right, you got to fellowship with Akin because that'll, that'll get rid of those old ways off you. You know, if you was a, um, if you were a person that uh, was a, a procrastinator, mm -hmm. Or, so, or you had some type of impurity within your spirit, the fellowship is going to make you purge that spirit, and then you're just going to be right on it. Mm -hmm. You know, just be just being around and not really saying anything and just soaking in the spirit is, is really going to purge you from these impurities or these imperfections that's holding you back. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's and that's actually continue on the topic. That's you embracing the new you, man. Embrace embracing that new spirit. That uh, that uh, well, the spirit that renewed the new uh, renewed spirit that's now within you, man. You're embracing that, man. Embracing that walk, you know. We continue on that second, uh, at Corinthians, second Corinthians, five, five and eighteen. Yes, sir. You good? Second Corinthians chapter uh, five, verses uh, eighteen. And all things are of the Most High, who have reconciled us to Himself by Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. That's right. It says in all things of the Most High. So we understand, you know, that the the, the new purified spirit that we that we're, we're working to keep pure and make even more pure. You know, that's of the Most High. How about you? How shy? Cherish that, man. Mm -hmm. Cherish that. Embrace that. Don't run from it, man. Don't run from the chastisement and the correction. Don't run from the love of the brotherhood, man. Mm -hmm. Get in the mix. Yeah. You know, em em embrace, embrace. This walk, man. Embrace this journey. Embrace the challenge. Okay. You know? And then we'll get into this word uh, reconcile. Um, this is once again from the uh, online uh, etymology, Adam Online. Reconcile, which is also a verb. It says uh, to bring together again, regain, win over again. Mm. You know? Because Yahweh Shai, he's, he's, he's already put the sacrifice uh, uh, on the line already, made himself a sacrifice. So now we have a chance to be won over again by his sacrifice to the Most High Yahweh, you know? So we gotta embrace it, man. You can't run from this challenge, man. Well, you can, you can run from the challenge, but why would you? Why would you Why would you wanna not only let down the Heavenly Father like that, but let, let down Yahweh shine like that, man, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, can you read that uh, piece up again, Bubba, for sure? Yeah, Khan, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 18. And all things are of the Most High, who have reconciled us to Himself by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation. Yeah, and that's the continuation of this process. Also embracing the new you, the new creation. Okay, it's understanding that our ministry is of reconciliation. Our ministry has is uh, is uh, it has the purpose of going out and, and and bidding more to the marriage man, helping to bring forth more fruit, meat for repentance. Okay, now of course. There's a certain level of condemnation that comes with that, but that's the main. That's just something. That's just a, a byproduct, so to speak, of the of the ministry. The ministry is about reconciliation, man. All right, because once again, through that reconciliation, uh, uh, is, is to win over again. Okay, we're trying to win over again the Most High Yahweh. All right, by getting His fruit, by getting His people out of this hellhole and getting them right. Okay. Yeah, you know, add. If not, if, if you do, you know, can, but if not, hit that last verse. Yeah, we're 19. Come uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 19. To wit that the Most High was... It says to wit, which is to know. To to know, if you go into that word, it's a, a, a keen perception. Mm. You know? We have, to, we have to know. Know these things, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Continue so you to say uh, you have an unction to know all things. Mm -hmm. I believe that's in First John 2 and 20, 20, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And that word... Um, and then unction goes into a, 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 a spiritual anointing, you know? So we're spiritually anointed to know all these things. Mm -hmm. One thing that we're supposed to know is that this is a ministry of reconciliation. You can go ahead. All right, uh, verse 19, to wit that the Most High was in Hamashiach, 
reconcil reconciling the world unto himself. And that word, and that word uh, world there is the uh, cosmos, mm -hmm. which we understand as an orderly arrangement. Okay, and that orderly arrangement is is of what is of the uh, the house of Israel, more specifically the remnant and the uh, 144,000 in the election of, of of Israel. Man, that's the world that we're talking about here. That's the world who has the access to this ministry of reconciliation if they if they choose in the spirit of power you have watching y'all shot to take heed and get and get with the program man okay but all of that all of that starts with us individually embracing that new creation once again embracing that challenge all right embracing the law statutes and commandments embracing the ministry all these things man all these things are 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 are, 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 are produced by Embracing the new creation that we how about you, how shot is fashioning us to be. That's right. Can you, brother, can you read that piece up again from the top? All right, it's 2 Corinthians 5 and 19. To wit, that Most High was in Hamashiach reconciling the world unto himself, mm -hmm. not imputing their trespasses unto them, and have committed up. And not imputing their trespasses unto them. All right, because we, we were all sinners, man. We were all transgressing the law, okay? But by embracing the new creation, uh, 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 accepting the challenge of this ministry of reconciliation, the Most High is not laying those those uh, spiritual charges on us anymore, man. All right, He's gonna He's gonna substitute or replace our our spiritual transgressions that we've had in this life and all other lives. He's gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace the judgment uh, that will come with that with the sacrifice of my only beloved Son, Yahweh Shai. You know, any more on that? I read it from the top again. Kind of. This is Second uh, Corinthians five and nineteen. To wit that the Most High was in Hamashiach, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. The word of reconciliation, once again. All right. So, if I just may say as an exhortation to brothers, man, just uh, uh, accept this challenge, man. Accept this, uh, this ministry of reconciliation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, once again, uh, Apostle Paul wrote about making your... Uh, Beseeching us to make our bodies a living sacrifice, which is our reasonable duty, our reasonable service. It's it's not it's not too much to ask of us, you know. With all with all the the things that, um, you know, the grace of the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of His sacrifice, all the things that uh, uh, that one sacrifice is uh, you know accounting for. It's not too much of, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to ask of us to just get right, man. Okay, and 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 love and love the man. Love the man, woman, and child that he's trying to make you, man. Love it. Love being right, man. What's wrong with being right? Nothing. Right. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong with being. Ain't nothing wrong with being right. Mm -hmm. Finish up now. Cool. I got one more. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, Ephesians chapter four and uh, verse twenty-three. Let me start at verse twenty-two. Mm -hmm. That you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. All right, the scriptures talk about um, we're seeking an incorruptible crown, man. That's something that no one can take away from us. All right, but in this flesh, it is corruptible. That's why we have to uh, come back to this word through the spirit. We have to uh, seek out understanding through the spirit what uh, what things happen to us through the spirit, not uh, not getting carnal. Just reevaluating re re your life through the spirit mm -hmm. and what happens to you. Uh, on your personal journeys, you got to evaluate that through the spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, um, this is verse. Let me see, verse twenty-three, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. All right, verse twenty-four, and that you put on the new man, which after the Most High is created in righteousness and true holiness. And it, it is gospel is going out, and we, we're pushing repentance and, and righteousness. That's 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 what we're leading into. Like it mentions in Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in, are in, uh, are in authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. And we're coming into them times where we're going to be rejoicing. So it starts right now, right here, right now. Mm -hmm. Come, come. You got to be just that. Come, so, we'll close out there. So we hope and pray this lesson was edifying. Once again, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, and Clark Badash. Double irons to our apostles and elders of great millstone who lead, teach and rule well. Love and honesty, brothers, pushing the word, and faith, truth, and sincerity. Until next time, shalom. Shalom.